Hey everyone, I wanted to touch base with you about um, masking because we are headed into a time in this pandemic where um, a lot of people, even vaccinated people, are starting to mask up again because the CDC has asked us to do so. Um, and of course, a lot of us have been continuing to mask this whole time for the last 4,082 months or however long we've been doing this. Um, and since at least where we are here, we don't have um, mask mandates, it also means that a lot of us are spending time in places where maybe like we're the only person masking, but other a lot of other people aren't masking. Um, and kids are going back to school and they're going to be masking and uh, K-State is masking again and all of that. So I wanted to share some things that I have learned about making sure that your masks are really doing the best job. Now I have to give the caveat that like obviously I am not a medical doctor, I am not a scientist. What I can tell you is that um, I am a pastor, which means that I care a lot about our community, and I believe that we are called to love our neighbor as ourselves. Um, and I think masks are one of the best ways we have right now of being able to do that. Um, I also happen to be, just personally, I am an Enneagram 6 with a 5 wing. And if you know anything about the Enneagram, you will know that that means that I have basically been spending like literally my entire life preparing for uh, <laughs> a pandemic and rehearsing for it and thinking about it and things like that. And that five wing means that I have a lot of information in my head and that although I am not a doctor or a scientist, I spend a lot of time reading and learning from doctors and scientists because I really love to get as much information as possible. So um, as we are masking up, um, one thing I want to note is that obviously, like, if you are vaccinated, thank you so much. And I want to be sure and note that, like, the vaccines still work, right? It's just that we're doing this Swiss cheese thing with lots of different layers. Um, vaccines really reduce our risk of getting infected and they improve our chances of um, staying healthier if we do get infected. They help us stay out of hospitals, help us stay alive which is really, really important. Um, masks are another layer of protection, another strategy that we have to try to keep ourselves and the people that we interact with safe. And so I have some tips that I have learned from lots of experts out there um, about masks. And in particular, some of these tips are about not just wearing masks so that they'll limit my aerosols going out to other people, but also like protect me, protect the person who's wearing the mask when they're wearing it. So what I have learned is that two things that matter a lot with masks are fit and filtration. And a, a lot of times I think people don't think so much about the fit of their masks and that's why I wanna talk about it. So the place where you are like the most vulnerable to not have a good fit is at the top of your mask and at the sides. Let me actually show you with a different kind of mask here. Um, I have learned that in my own family, if we don't have one of these bendy things at the top of our masks for every person in my family, even though we all have really different face shapes, it's not gonna fit. Like it's gonna be all kinds of air just coming out the top here, which means air is also coming in there. Um, the other place where you frequently have a hard time getting a good fit is on the sides, big gaps here, right? Lots of air coming in and out there. So um, the best way I have learned that if you have a, a bridge thing in your nose to adjust it, is to get it pretty straight and then when you get it on take your two fingers and use those to push down that gets you really like the best fit here across your nose now as you can see i still have tons of gaps here and um i'm going to teach you more about that in a second but if you wear glasses having this bridge and having this part stay flat to your face is going to keep your glasses from fogging up pro tip if your glasses are fogging up it means there's air coming in and out right there um, so it's also a really nice way to know if you have a good fit. Now, if you don't have glasses, like I am not wearing glasses most of the time, I can get my mask on, smush it down with my two fingers. I can test by holding my hands here and breathing in and out and here, breathing in and out and seeing if any air comes. So that's how you know if you're pretty well, no, I'm not going to say sealed, but you know, tighter across the top and the side here. Um, the other thing that I will say is that not only does the fit matter, but also the type of mask you're wearing matters. So one of the things that I learned from a website that I follow with scientists called Dear Pandemic, and I was shocked when I read this, but they, they cited some studies and I'll try to post the link below. Um, the reduction of risk, like reduction of risk to me, the wearer, when I wear a mask like this, 
if it doesn't fit me very well, which usually if it's just plain like this, it doesn't fit most people super well, I don't think, is I'm only getting a like 7% reduction in risk, mostly because it does not fit me very well. If you knot it up, now this doesn't fit everybody's face, but if you're lucky like me and wearing the knotted kind does fit your face, you can see I get a much, much better fit here and here. Um, then now I'm getting like a 60 something percent reduction. So like without the knotting, like 7% reduction with the knotting, like 60%. That's amazing, right? So let me teach you how to do the knotting. It's really simple. All you do is you fold your mask in half. You pull it out like this. You knot it right here. I learned this from some doctors on the interwebs. Get a good knot right there. Do it on both sides. Then, and this is the important part too, when you put it on your face, fan it open, put it on your face, and then you're gonna need to tuck, knot and tuck, tuck the side in here. Do the same thing on the other side. Now you can see that if I do my test, I get a much better fit when I'm breathing. Um, obviously, double masking is another option, and they said if you double mask like a um, one of these with a cloth mask over it, I think you get like an 80% reduction, which is amazing. Uh, N95s, KN95s, what are those other ones? KF94s, I think. Those are still like the gold standard and you can buy them these days. They're pretty readily available. I will say that um, they fit my whole family. They fit my kids and the adults in my family and the um, my kids actually prefer them. They like them better than the other kinds of masks. So those are my mask tips for you. Um, thank you for continuing to take care of yourself and other people around you as we head into a challenging time in this pandemic. Um, thank you if you are able to be vaccinated and you've done so. Um, thank you for staying the course so that we can love one another um, the way Jesus wanted us to do. It's gonna take all of us continuing to love one another in small ways and big ways as we continue to make our way through this time in history. Thanks so much. Bye.